Hi, I'm Miss Julie from Howard County Library System's Central Branch. I'm here today as the teen instructor to share with you some of my favorite high school picks, both fiction and nonfiction. Bao and Lin each work in their family's faux restaurants. Having two different faux restaurants in a town wouldn't be the end of the world. But when they're located directly across the street from one another, it can lead to an intense rivalry. In a faux love story by Lone Lei, Bao and Lin start to develop feelings for one another in spite of their family's long-lived feud. Can their forbidden romance break the tensions, or will it only intensify the feud in this modern-day Romeo and Juliet with a side of faux? Dio Sato was the oldest of nine children. They were a Japanese-American family living in California in 1941 when something happened that would rip this family from their way of life only to be treated as prisoners. That event was the bombing of Pearl Harbor. President Franklin Roosevelt declared war on Japan. Widespread fear and racism ultimately led FDR to sign into law multiple executive orders which led to the detainment of over 120,000 Japanese Americans. All you had to be was 1 16th Japanese and you were expected to surrender yourself to a prison camp. In Kiyo Sato from World War II Japanese internment camp to a life of service by Connie Goldsmith, you will learn about the harsh treatment and harsh conditions that Kiyo and her siblings endured and how she rose up and dedicated her life to serving others after detainment. When a plane packed with 50 teenagers crash lands on a deserted island. They must find a way to survive. These teenagers were on their way to compete in the Miss Teen Dream pageant as beauty contestants. When you're sure that the corporation who runs Miss Teen Dream will be there soon to rescue you, do you try to survive or do you practice your routine for the competition? Should you eat grubs or should you look on the bright side like Miss Mississippi and hope to get really skinny for the competition? And what happens when you find out that the island isn't so deserted after all, and that you may be more valuable dead than rescued? Beauty Queens by Libba Bray is a funny satirical mix between a Miss USA pageant and Lord of the Flies. Libba Bray pokes fun at pageants, consumerism, and modern culture. Do these teen dreamers have what it takes to survive, and can they do it while working on their tans? practicing their routines, and maintaining their nice, happy, shiny teen dream character. You have left such a mixed legacy as Charles Lindbergh. You may recognize Charles as being the first man to cross the Atlantic via airplane in a time where this attempt meant certain death. Naturally, surviving this solo journey made him a media darling. He also happened to be an avid environmentalist, a Nazi sympathizer, and a promoter of eugenics. Charles was a victim of one of the most famous and enthralling crimes in American history. They called it the crime of the century. His infant son was stolen from his crib, sparking one of the most intensive criminal investigations of its time. I recommend this book if you enjoy biographies and history. In The Rise and Fall of Charles Lindbergh by Candace Fleming, you will uncover the different aspects of his unique and complex legacy, everything from hero to villain. Izumi is a Japanese American living in a mostly white town. Izumi and her mom have been on their own for as long as she can remember. She soon discovers a clue that leads to something she never could have imagined, her father's identity. Finding out your biological father's identity can be jarring enough without finding out that he is the crown prince of Japan. And being the daughter of a crown prince may just make her royalty as well. It makes Izumi a princess, in fact. Izumi travels to Japan to meet her father, but finds out it isn't all it's cracked up to be. In Tokyo Ever After by Emiko Jean, it turns out that being a princess is way harder than it looks. Where is Izumi supposed to fit in when she doesn't feel American enough for life in her mostly white town and not Japanese enough to be Japanese royalty? In A Time of Fear by Albert Marin, he explores the battle between democracy and communism that shaped the 20th century. 
Marin takes a special interest in exploring the role of the Communist Party of the USA and their role in American history's most contentious moments. Believe it or not, they're still active today. The Communist Party capitalized on divides such as the Jim Crow era and economic divides to win over sympathizers to the communist cause. Some became fierce advocates for the Soviet Union in communism without recognizing the devastating realities of it and the atrocities that the Soviet people had endured. Marin explores many of the complex reactions in the states and how we must not be ruled by our fear and cast aside the democratic values that we hold most dear. I recommend that you read A Time of Fear if you are interested in history and if you are interested in making sure that we don't repeat it. In The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, when a billionaire dies and leaves his immense fortune to Avery, she doesn't know what to make of it. She's especially puzzled because she'd never even met the man. Does it sound too good to be true? It just might be. It turns out it comes with a catch. She must move into the billionaire's mansion to inherit his sizable fortune. Hawthorne House is full of mysteries, codes, secret passages, and other people. It turns out she's not moving into it alone. The mansion is already occupied by the family that the billionaire disinherited. They are convinced that she is a con woman who swindled the man out of his fortune. She is determined to solve the billionaire's last puzzle, but can she win when she doesn't know how the game is played? Pepper and Jack are food chain royalty. Both are juggling their roles in their family businesses and their schoolwork. Pepper is a perfectionist who manages the Twitter page for her family's business, and Jack is a jokester with very little interest in his family business. But when Pepper's family steals the notorious grilled cheese recipe, it sparks a tweet war between the two. Tweet Cute by Emma Lord embraces the trope of the love-hate relationship in this sweet romantic comedy. It turns a traditional meat cute into a tweet cute. In the Shadow of the Moon by Amy Cherix speaks to the hidden history of the space race, to the things that many don't know about this tense and high profile time period. She explores the two opposing engineers who drove the space race with their push for scientific advancement. Each an unlikely soldier for their side in an unusual arena for battle, space. One a former German Nazi and one a Russian traitor. Each engineer's ultimate goal was to be the first to land their country on the moon. This rivalry shaped the Cold War, shaped the space race, and ultimately shaped our future. But details of their work has been intentionally hidden and classified. These scientists, their contributions and mixed legacies go far beyond the space race. Their legacy is still felt in our space programs and space rockets and technology. Though initially designed to carry humans, their work has been twisted and now can be used for things that are much more sinister and far more deadly. When a game called Warcross takes the world by storm, everyone eats, sleeps, and breathes Warcross. Emika Chen, a teenage hacker, works as a bounty hunter who tracks down illegal black market bets and those who place them. At the World Cup of Warcross, otherwise known as the International Warcross Championships, Emika hacks the games and accidentally glitches into the middle of the competition. The world is enthralled. Everyone was watching and now they're wondering who the hacker is who cracked the unhackable games. Just when she thinks she'll surely be arrested, she receives a call from a handsome young billionaire named Hideo Tanaka who is none other than the creator of Warcross himself. He has an offer for Emika. He will pay off her debts if she goes undercover on one of the professional Warcross teams in an effort to discover who is trying to destroy the games. Warcross by Marie Lu is the first in a duology and it's perfect for those who enjoy action, gaming, science fiction, and twists that keep you guessing the whole way through. Thank you so much for watching. 
I hope that you read and enjoy some of the titles that I recommended, and I hope to see you in our branches soon.